Dave Palumbo here with another RX Muscle Rant. Today's topic, growth hormone. How does it work? Why does it take so long to work? And what are all the pitfalls you should look out for? Well, you know, I get so many questions every single week about growth hormone and, you know, guys that have never even worked out, they're already looking to take growth hormone. People want to know what it does, how it works, how long does it take to kick in, all these, these great things. And, and the truth of the matter is that Nothing will ever replace anabolic steroids for the most bang for your buck. For the price and for the time they take to work, which is very short, they, they build muscle the best. But what growth hormone does, it's, it's different. It's a protein hormone. Uh, it binds to protein surface receptors. Okay, it doesn't bind to nuclear receptors like steroidal molecules do. And what growth hormone does is it doesn't make existing muscles get bigger. It actually creates new muscle tissue from stem cells. We used to call these cells satellite cells. This was like un differentiated clumps of stuff that would sit next to the normal muscle cells. Now we know that we call them stem cells. And what growth hormone does is it tells these stem cells to turn into muscle fibers. The problem is that these, these very immature, very tiny stem cells, okay, when growth hormone activates them, they're, they're microscopic, they're small. They don't have any size to them yet. So you don't see the results of this new muscle tissue occurring. And this, this muscle uh, I guess you could say transformation process that occurs is known as hyperplasia, which is the production of new muscle cells, not hypertrophy, which is the increasing in size of existing cells. So growth hormone does these things does these things differently than steroids do. And the truth is that GH doesn't really directly cause any muscle growth. Growth hormone is, is broken down by the liver, and then the liver releases a hormone known as IGF-1, or insulin-like growth factor 1, which is what causes that hyperplasia to occur. So it's an indirect process via uh, the effects of GH. Now, everyone converts GH into IGF-1 in the liver at different rates. So if one guy takes two IUs of growth hormone a day, he might convert X units into, into IGF-1. Another guy takes the same two units of, of growth hormone and he converts it into two X amounts of IGF-1. So the same dosage in two different people can be converted into more or less IGF-1, which is why some people respond better to growth hormone than others. Um, that, and that's also the theory why theoretically taking IGF-1 would be better because you don't have to worry about how much you know, IGF-1 the liver produces, you can take a direct source of it. The problem is when you take too much IGF-1 directly, your receptors stop responding to it because it overwhelms the system. So um, to get back to growth hormone and how it works, we know that you take the growth hormone, the liver breaks it down, it releases a hormone on an IGF-1. IGF-1 then goes looking for IGF-1 receptors, which can be found in the largest densities of populations on damaged muscle tissue. So when you go to the gym and you break down muscle tissue and say your bicep muscles because you just did an arm workout, those cells now are trying to send out a signal for repair. They create more IGF-1 receptors. The IGF-1 that's in your body naturally and or from a shot of growth hormone you might have taken will then go to those, uh, those areas, bind to those receptors, and activate those muscle fibers and the satellite cells around them to start producing new muscle tissue. The problem is you don't can't see this new tissue because it's so small. So what happens? How do we finally see the results of what GH does? Well, as time goes on and as you train your muscles, these new cells start to get bigger, okay? How long does it take before the, the cells that you're producing today uh, will get big enough for you to actually notice it? Well, you know what, in my estimation and in my experience, and from what I've seen in my own body and other people's bodies, it seems like there's a six month lag. And that's why you hear sometimes people say it takes six months to see the results of GH. It's not that the GH is not working from this first shot you take, it is. It's just that you don't see the new cells get large enough where you actually notice it. So I know some guys will do like eight weeks of GH and then go off of it. And then like all of a sudden, like half a year later, they're like, you know what, I'm growing better now than when I took the GH. Well, buddy, you just, you're finally seeing the results of the cells that you produced six months earlier when you took the GH. And that, that's really the, the, the misnomer of why people don't see the actual growing effects of GH as effectively or as, 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 as quickly as they do from steroids because there's a delay. Um, once again, steroids will make those existing cells get bigger, but they don't cause new muscle tissue to develop. Likewise, if you combine steroids with GH, the effects of the GH you, you see faster. Why? Because the steroids are making those immature new muscle cells get bigger faster, just like weight training will. 
So if you just took growth hormone and didn't work out at all, you probably would never see the muscle building effects of them. Why? Because there's nothing making those cells get bigger. You need a resistance training. You need to overload the most muscles. You need to put a strain on them. You need to eat a high amount of protein. You know, you need to do things that would warrant your body adding muscle mass to it, okay? And when your body adds muscle mass, it adds it to all the cells. If you now have an additional 10% extra cells from taking growth hormone, guess what? Now you got more potential, more genetic potential to get bigger. That's why it's also said that growth hormone can change the genetics of your body. Um, I'm sure that over the years of, of my growth hormone usage, I probably increased my ability to put muscle in areas that I never would have been able to. I mean, I didn't have genetically big arms when I first started. They were, they were small. They were ripped, but they were small. And at my peak, I had 22-inch arms. So, I mean, obviously something helped. Obviously, it was a combination of weight training, eating right, you know, taking the right you know, performance-enhancing steroids and, and growth hormone. But it's putting everything together that, that, that really you know, gives you the equation that you're looking for. But once again, growth hormone is not a miracle. Okay, drug, it's very expensive, especially real growth hormone. And you know what the truth of the matter is? You're not gonna get as much bang for your buck, like I said, as you will from anabolics. So if you're on a limited budget, don't go mortgage your house to take growth hormone, okay? It's not, it's not gonna answer your prayers. It's not gonna give you miracles, okay? If you can afford it and you can find legitimate growth hormone, um, whether it be through a doctor or whatever other means you use, go for it. But you know what? It's not worth spending your life savings on because you, you're going to get way less out of it than you, than you think you are. It sounds like a way more glamorous drug than it really is and it's just not. It, it's probably more impressive as a, as a, uh, I guess as a, I guess a life extension type of drug than it is at, at, at building massive amounts of muscles. Guys on the Olympia stage who have tons of muscle already and they add that into the mix, it kind of just ignites things and makes it work better. But it's not the end all and do all and the solution to your problems. That's what I'm trying to impart here. Hopefully you guys uh, got a little education on what growth hormone does. Next time, we'll talk about why it's important in certain circumstances to take insulin with growth hormone and how that works and synergizes the growth hormone's effects. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo, though, with an RX Muscle rant.